Caroline Peter Taylor's Managing Director of ESS Business Tools. Welcome to Accountants Minute. Cash flow management vital for survival. This is the theme of this edition of Accountants Minute. The recent article in the Australian Financial Review that was written by the CEO of NYOB, Paul Robson, really highlighted the importance of fiscal management skills for SMEs. In this article, uh, he noted that Australian SME business failures this financial year was an increase of 34% on the failure rate in the previous year. Accountants need to be very direct with individuals, I think, who are contemplating going into business or buying a business about the potential problems relating to fiscal management if they do not have the fiscal management skills. I think you should be blunt and indicate to them that if you're going to offer the services of an accountant or bookkeeper and they haven't got the skills in fiscal management, that you will supply those services and obviously they will pay for them. Because the failure rate is definitely identifying fiscal management skills as being the biggest single problem that people have in running SMEs. For those of your clients or prospects that say, yes, we understand fiscal management skills, why not give them a short test to satisfy yourself that they do understand it? Because if they don't, unfortunately, they will probably end up a statistic. In the article, uh, Mr. Robson indicated that the real barrier is after six months. And that's when the person had started off with a great idea, a great vision of what they were going to achieve and a certain amount of money basically runs out of money. He indicated they've forgotten about paying the GST to the Australian Taxation Office or they haven't understood the payment conditions that would apply to getting supplies for their business, whether they're raw materials or whether they're completed products. There is a myth that everyone gets 30 days. Well, that's not right. There's plenty of businesses insist on cash on delivery, especially for the first six or 12 months to enable the new account to establish its bona fides. And the other big problem that a lot of people have is not understanding the problems that can occur from offering credit to businesses. Now, I assume that in most cases, credit would only be offered to businesses or government agencies or local councils, those type of organisations. Because these days, for the consumers, the business should be insisting on being paid by credit card. But when the credit is offered, there needs to be an explanation given to the new business operator or the one even taking over a business that not all customers pay on a 30-day basis which seems to be an assumption that a lot of business entrants make. In fact, a few years ago, Australia was awarded a very dubious title of having the longest debtors days outstanding in the world. And I don't think much has changed from what I've read since that time. So it's not uncommon for the average debtors days outstanding to be over 80 days. If your new client has done all their assumptions that if they supply credit that they will be paid on a 30-day basis, they're going to be a long way out in their cash flow forecast. That's if they had a cash flow forecast. So our suggestion is that you talk to your clients about a proper system being implemented from day one. That they will have a written business plan. That I think you should at least be involved in part of that preparation to emphasize the accounting importance. But then from that business plan, predictive accounting reports should be prepared. And if they don't understand fiscal management, these should be prepared by you as a service for your client. Budgets, cash flow forecasts, projected balance sheets are important so that there's some measurements that can be made during the, the time to see what's causing the problems. And then a set of monthly financial accounts with the associated key performance indicators and business metrics. 
so that an analysis can be undertaken of what's not quite working out. And that analysis includes things like what is the debtor's days outstanding? What is the creditor's days outstanding? Because that can be very important also, especially for a new business operator because there will probably not be an appetite for tolerance to people behind in making their payments to major suppliers, especially if your client really needs those products made by a particular supplier for their, for their business operations. So this is the theme of this Accountants Minute, to help you be able to have this conversation with this prospective client, to point out to them the real services that you can offer to help them survive in business and to grow into a larger business if that's their wish, but hopefully a very successful business operation. If you would like to have more information about how ESS Business Tools can assist you to be able to deliver these types of services, please go to our website and have a look at the outline of the product packages we have, and we've got four product packages starting from advisory intro, which is a, a basic introduction to advisory services. And then we have the starter package, which is where most firms want to start on this journey. The advanced package, which includes a wide range of resources to assist you to be able to answer a wide range of commercial questions from your clients. And then the financial forecasting package, which allows you to bring it all together to really act as the virtual chief financial officer for your clients using the Plain Bureau software, which is part of the subscription package. We would love to hear from you. We would love you to join us on this crusade to improve the degree of financial advice being supplied to Australian small, medium enterprises. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day and stay safe. Thank you.